Hello, my loves. This is Robin. I set up a table in my bedroom where I could sit at the end of my bed and do this reading for you, have another reading space, comfortable, so that I can focus on the energies for you. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for coming in if you're here for the first time. I wish to thank you for your presence, simply the fact that you're seeking knowledge and insight. Many of us have massive skills. We do many, we connect to many type of energies, but the one I connect to the most is the Holy Spirit. This is a, a sacred, holy anointing spray, and I'm spraying myself around to sanctify myself to do this reading, protecting from any negative influences. Archangel Michael, thank you for your presence. Thank you for blinding the negative, and thank you for opening up the eyes of the seekers and the positive. Now, I don't know who this is for, Whoever you are, you're very sacred, all right? This could apply to you. It might apply to someone you know. Um, and these are not gender-specific type readings or anything. This is just a basic reading that showed up this morning. We have a high priestess here. We have somebody in authority, spiritual authority. We have someone who has insight and knowledge. They have to answer to God. They keep, their, they keep things to themselves. They are a sacred being. They're very sacred in the eyes of the divine. They've seen the dark, the light, and everything in between. But they're suffering heartbreak and disappointment. Let down multiple times. I don't know if it's a lover. I don't know if it's family or friends. But it's not any place for a high priestess to find themselves. Just, just so disheartened and so down and blue. I asked... Um, I'm going to save the bottom of the deck for the end so you can see. So I asked why this person was suffering. And I got, they, they're a prayerful person. They're seeking the face of the divine. They're seeking answers from within. They're spiritually attuned. And they know that they have to take time out and they have to break away the three the three swords here represent battles, attacks, heartbreaks, mental over over mental cheating, hurting, and fighting. Now this person's resting, but they've got their battle guard on, so they're ready to go to war whenever. They're all they have to do is reach down and grab this last sword. This will be it. They're turning it over to the divine. So this is an amazing experience um, and very difficult to be a high priestess at this time. Also dealing with lack of commitment, lack of loyalty, and third parties that went bad. Friendships, family, and friends, and lovers. Dishonest, distrusting, disloyal, and selfish. Also... The reason this person's in the Four of Swords right now, healing, restoring, and praying, is because they are deliberately avoiding emotional upsets, everybody else's bullshit, opinions, um, energy coming at them from all directions, draining them, using them, and lying to them. So this person is in reverse because of that crap. But... What they do is they throw themselves into work and they change their destiny. Eight is the number of karmic destiny. Eight is an eighth house. Scorpio, possibly, working very hard, minding their business and focusing on one task at a time, even though they're surrounded by traitors. Even though, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then walking away, just leaving you in the lurch. It's like, fuck it, I'm out. This is someone that decided to go for something a little different, let's say. Um, either this is you, high priestess, walking away from this crap, or, <clears throat> excuse me, and recognizing it, or moving towards something you really want to do. Your destiny is changing. You have a beautiful heart. You could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You're absolutely gorgeous. 
Look how, look how you've washed your robes in the blood of the Lamb. You're white now. Doesn't matter what you did before. You've completely changed your perspective because now you can see spiritually that you live from the heart. You're always offering your cup. You care about people and you want the world to change. However, it took some of you to go celibate. It took some of you to shut down an immoral or an unstable relationship with someone that was only sexual based, but not spiritually based. And it triggered you. So you turned your passion away from someone and went after the money, went after the business, went after the stable one, went after going after someone that's more grounded, more mature, more on your level, can keep up with the high priestess, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this person that you met or had been working with was cheating. They were cheating on someone. Somebody was cheating and that turned their moral standards completely upside down, completely changed the way they viewed relationships. This person was not faithful. This is a faithful spouse, friend, lover, mother in reverse. And they're trying to affect your money. Someone may have been juggling or you may be juggling carrying too many burdens because of on all of this disloyalty, disrespect, selfish, greedy persons in your experience. What's going to happen? I'm going to turn the, the card on the bottom of the deck is actually indeed the ten of, ten of, sorry, ten of cups for you. These are the messages for you, my love. I'm going to take these. You will get your justice. You could be a Libra. You're using your common sense now. You're clear. You can see who's who's who, who's what, what they want, what they mean. You're looking at it from a spiritual perspective. You're asking God the divine to clear up these things. You're asking Archangel Rifle to, uh, Michael to put that sword on in your hands and put that crown on your head where it belongs. You're being stable, honest, and you're cutting out people that don't serve you. But you're also growing spiritually. You're amazing. You're working hard. Whoops, sorry. And you're about to have this. This is where you meet the right one. You have a stable, loving relationship. You have a, uh, this could be family. Okay, what's coming up for this? person in this reading. Show the Holy Spirit what's coming up. Okay, for you, what you can expect from now on, from, from right now. Absolute hope and healing is coming for you, Divine. You need to know this. You're being guided on the other side. There are um, ancestors and guides that are going to heal you. This is a Star of David. This could be Aquarius. This is about you get, being the star. And the Empress, too. Holy shit, you're the whole package. You are the whole package. And these people couldn't keep up with your energy. They didn't. They they. They, oh my God, you're the star, you're the empress, you're the, you're the justice, you're bringing justice to the land, you're bringing justice to situations, and maybe it's just justice to cut these bitches off and get on with it, because obviously you can see how treacherous they were to you. They tried to destabilize you, you are the empress, they tried to come in and offer loyalty and then, and then drop you and leave you in the lurch, that's what they did. That's what happened to me, too. And it's just coming up in this reading. This is for somebody I don't know who. But if you relate, hit that like button. Hit that like button. This is probably your story. But guess what? You're single now. You're productive. You're making money. You're connected to the divine. You're grounded. You're stable. You're completely covered from top to bottom. People have no business trying to disrobe you, to discredit you. They have no right you are already connected to the divine and spirit animals. You have the red cap on like a cardinal's cap. You have chosen your place in the universe and how you want to establish yourself on the planet with justice and money because you deserve it. 
All right, what else is coming up for this person? New love. You have something beautiful and loving, and this is 11 cups. That tells me, my darling, you're about to meet someone who is going to respect the Empress. Okay? And the last card, you're getting a brand new start. The world card represents the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one for this superstar right here. Multi-gifted woman of God um, who speaks truth, has come before people to help them, and has did, done a lot of spiritual warfare. That's what makes her the Empress, because she doesn't just trust in herself, she trusts in God too. She trusts in her higher power and source to, to protect, and ancestors as well. Yeah, she does indeed have this new offer coming. She's got money coming as well to help her. There's some beautiful message here. If you relate to this message, it was intended for you. For those of you of faith, I have these promises that I read. Psalms 147.3 He heals the brokenhearted and he binds their wounds. You know your faith is not in vain, but they would try to confound you and make you think that you're crazy when you're really just a believer in hope, healing, and humanity. You're a believer in that you have been touched by the divine. You wish to touch others the way that you've been touched. However, some of the people you were touching were not divine and didn't want to be divine. They claimed they were divine, but they were uh, fake. They would not do the work to submit under the power of the Lord. And therefore, they showed their true character over time and you decided that it would be best for me to transition and to just focus on this loving work that I do and give this message to the world, hoping that these seeds land on a, on a heart that is ready to be healed and delivered and know that you are seen, you are not crazy, you are indeed special. So you might be alone, but you're awesome. You continue to do what you're doing and the divine has favor for you. And trust me, you just turn it over to the Lord, turn it over to the angels and guys and go for it. Do your thing because you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Coins. My loves, do you know what that means? Wealth, wealth, absolute wealth in every way. So your, your faith has served, excuse me, your faith has served you well. May you be blessed. Thank you for being here. Namaste.